Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Scottish Games Network podcast. I'm your host Ryan and today in this mini episode we've got a very special guest for you. Hello Ryan and hello listeners. <laughs> I'm Lucy Holland. I, I'm a composer, musician, um, musical director, radio presenter, sound artist and, and big gamer. List That's goes me. on. It's like, you know, the resume <laughs> just lasts for days, you know. Yeah, I'm one of those guys who can't <laughs> stop. <laughs> Um, so today you're here to speak about Play Away, which we covered on the website a couple of days ago, and it'll also be in our podcast, uh, the latest episode. Um, so do you want to just tell us a little bit about Play Away? Absolutely. Uh, I'll try and keep it short. Play Away is a two-week online games festival featuring over 30 game designers, artists, musicians, makers, researchers, educators, and more uh, in a series of panels, workshops, and other live events. And we're looking to games for inspiration, creativity, and connection in an online world. You can tell you've said that a few times. <laughs> I know, and I now feel like that's a bit wanky. But... Uh, it's the, like, <laughs> it was perfectly eloquent. Um, okay, good. Does it give you an idea of what it is? Oh, 100%. Or is it too far? Yeah, definitely. Okay, um, awesome. So where did the idea come from for uh, Play Away? So um, I can... This will probably be quite a long version for you, but I think hopefully it's a bit more interesting if I if I go back a bit, uh, because essentially the event has grown out of a series of ideas and projects. So if we go back a few years, our digital arts program uh, at Tinderbox was inspired by an initial interest in the crossover between games and social action, uh, social interaction, really. Mostly after a series of conversations between myself and, like I said, I'm a gamer, by the way, uh, and our creative director, Jack Nissim, and a couple other people that we've worked with over the years who are, are involved in games or in interactive of art in some way. Jack himself, he comes from a musical background more than anything and he wouldn't call himself a gamer. So it's really an interesting um, contrast between people who've had experience there and not um, in the team. Uh, and a few years ago, Jack had read Jane McGonagall's book, Reality is Broken, who is our keynote speaker, launching the first night of the festival. Um, and this book inspired our interactive art and tech course that we called Room to Play. We held that a few years ago in 2016 for the first time with Jan Sesnick, who's also a speaker, appearing over the festival. Uh, and over the years, that kind of concept behind interactive art in, and uh, creative tech with Room to Play, it grew into our Box Lab, um, which was a hackerspace for artists interested in various forms of creative tech. And then with the pandemic, Tinbox Lab became an online lab, which we called our virtual studio, where we get together with lab artists and explore various online accessible creative technologies like live collaborative coding and machine learning. Uh, and then quite quickly, this virtual studio, we started making little games together remotely, mostly because of how well the art form lends itself to people of different disciplines and working on something well apart, and whether there were some people who done a little bit of that before with game design and others who hadn't but it led to really interesting conversations about the playful collaborative approach and nature of games design uh, and ways in which the games industry has adapted to creativity during the pandemic uh, and how relevant and useful these thoughts might be or could be to a range of sectors so as an organization tinderbox works with a range of communities and groups as well and um the online format with the game design uh, angle seemed like a really great opportunity to invite and share perspectives with new audiences. So all of this kind of development <laughs> over the years on our digital arts program and then into this virtual studio which led to a bit more game design eventually led to the idea of like oh maybe a games event or workshop is in here and that has essentially blossomed into the uh, two-week festival you see now and it's still growing <laughs> as well. <laughs> You mentioned Tinderbox there. Do you want to maybe tell people at home what Tinderbox is if they don't know already? Yeah, sure thing. Um, so Tinderbox is essentially a vibrant music and arts community of young people, musicians, artists and youth workers uh, who promote community and empowerment through the arts. So Tinderbox runs a range of events, courses and workshops that covers um, a, a range of different access to music levels and other artistic practices, but mostly our, our youth music hubs um, our, uh, we run some sick kids music session, sessions at the children's hospital. Uh, we put on orchestral courses and concerts. Um, we've run electronics and game design workshops and talks and uh, events for young people. Uh, and now an online games festival as well. So um, yeah, they're really uh, a force for good with using creativity and art to inspire and promote community. 100% some really cool and inter interesting things there. Um, <laughs> so obviously Play Away has a lot of exciting and interesting panels and events. To mention one, uh, a, ch a <laughs> panel chaired by our very own Brian Baglow. Of um, course. Definitely check that one out. Um, 
what what would be the event that you're most looking forward to seeing? Oh, we're so happy Brian is joining us as well. <laughs> How could you do one without Brian? Um, yeah, it really is a bit of a range of events I'm, and I'm really excited at the mix of practitioners we have joining the conversations. So um, it's actually, it's quite hard for me to choose. We're, we're delighted, of course, that Jane McGonagall is our keynote, as I mentioned earlier. Obviously, really looking forward to that. This is the first night of the festival as well, so I think it's going to be feeling really exciting. Um, there's a composer panel on the closing night of the festival that that's something I'm especially close with as a games composer I'm obviously very excited for that as well and um, there's some banging workshops on offer throughout um, but really I don't know if I can pick a favourite I think honestly I'm most excited just to see what conversations and ideas are going to spark from each event and, and hopefully to see a real range of people coming along to check them out. Yeah you're right when I look through the website there is just an almost endless list of events and cool <laughs> things that you can see and people that are going to be there. Oh, that's um, great. I'm glad you think so. Thanks. Um, so, Play Away is a ticketed event. However, it doesn't use like a conventional pricing system. Can you tell us about that model and why you decided to go with that as opposed to just a flat price for your tickets? Yeah, of course. Uh, so we're calling it kind of a donations-based model. Uh, and really it was in order to try and keep the event as accessible and open as possible. So to try and remove any um, cost barrier to people coming along. Uh, and it's also important to us, especially in uncertain circumstances that we pay speakers. So uh, the tickets for most of the events basically have free suggested donations or a pay as you like option, uh, essentially so that people can choose to donate or they can book for free. Um, we do have some tiered pricing options with the workshops. That was really just because spaces are quite limited. So it's a, a technique to make sure that if someone wants to come, they're coming. But there are um, free spaces available too. So for anyone who's on a low income or that might be a barrier, they can just get in touch with us directly and we can sort that out as well. So. That's really cool. Um, so can people expect uh, Play Away to become a mainstay in the gaming social calendar or is this a <laughs> one-off event? It's a good question. Uh, it is the first time that Tinderbox has ran an online event or festival of this size. Um, so we're excited to see how it goes, but uh, we're hoping that it's the start of much more like it for sure. I don't think we're saying it's um, for sure the only time we'll be doing something like this. Well, uh, thank you very much for joining us, and thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit subscribe and like, it helps us out a lot. And to sign off, Lucy will tell you where you can find her. Yeah, uh, you can contact me or reach me on Twitter. I'm at Lucy Holland, L-U-C-I Holland. <laughs> and if you are into games music, then I also present a weekly radio show celebrating video games music with Scala Radio. We're on every Saturday from 5 to 6 and again on Sunday nights at 10. So come along and have a listen to that if it's your thing. 